guys, it's Cowboy Swagamim here, and today I am bringing you guys part two of my thumbnail tutorial. This is going to be um, towards the more fancy side of thumbnails. The apps you're going to need are Fonto once again and Aviari to put some finishing touches on it to actually give it that fancy look. Alright, let's go into Fonto. Alright, so you're going to click on the camera icon at the bottom, go to photo albums, and pick your um, background. I actually make backgrounds, sell them on Instagram, so follow me, you can buy some. Uh, this one was not made by me, just an FYI. Um, I actually bought it from somebody. So we're going to use this one here. Alright, so let's say I wanted to make a Rip Parambe thumbnail, because why not? Alright, so I'm going to do Rest in Peace. And uh, the font that I'm going to want to use for this, obviously you guys can change it how you want, is Long Shot. I'll put the link in the description for you guys. <clears throat> so, for the style, I want it to kind of match the yellow here. For the, um, so, I'm going to go with kind of a yellowish orange. Alright, guys. So, here we go. I kind of like that. We're going to push apply. We're going to um, do a stroke here. Put it at about 5. Go to style. And give it a shadow. I'm going to leave the X and Y at 20 here. Alright, that's a little too big. So, I'm going to shrink it down to about, that's probably, eh, no, nah, it's still a little big. There we go. It's about right. I'm going to put it up there in the corner. Now I'm going to write Harambe. Rest in peace, Harambe, our Lord and Savior. <laughs> so, I'm going to make him a little bit lighter here. I'm going to give it more of a bright look like this. There we go. Do the same thing for that. Stroke 5. Give it a shadow. Now I'm going to size it hmm I don't know there we go I think that looks pretty good so now I'm gonna go to add image and get Harambe the goat here and uh oh I think he is under rip yes he is hello Harambe you came back guys no I wish Rest in peace, bro. Alright, I'm going to put Harambe. Like, right here. My man. I don't mind if the text is covering him a little bit. Obviously, you guys can do your thumbnails how you want. If you don't like that, you don't have to do it. But, I think I do. And, um, I'm also going to give this a little bit of a glassy effect here. Looks about good. Now I'm going to change the alpha down to about 40 to 50 because obviously you still want to see it. I'm going to keep it. That's about good. And save. Alright guys, here we go. Here is where the magic happens, Aviari. This is where the thumbnails become lit, guys. Alright. So the first thing I want to do is adjust it to the color I want. I'm going to make it make it pink there green I'm gonna keep it it's about good I kind of like the color already and fade that looks good all the way down highlights I'm gonna make it stand out so I'm gonna put it a little bit on um, brightness probably gonna leave alone I'll check it out though yeah Warmth, and that's about good. Vibrance, vibrance is always lit, so I'm going to put that all the way up and apply that. Now here's where the actual magic happens, guys. Sharpness, this is going to make the thumbnail look amazing. So bring it to the 100, apply, do it a couple times until the thumbnail starts getting that sick look to it. 
It may take quite a few times, but, I mean, it's going to get there. <laughs> All right, guys, there we go. I think that looks about good. Um, one more thing you can actually do is go ahead and give it a border. I usually don't, but you can go to frames here and give it a border just like that. Apply. And also you can go to effects, see if you like anything here. Um, ooh, this one's like gold. That's cool. Yeah, I'm going to go with this. So our thumbnail looks pretty good, guys. Um, hopefully this helped. Um, if it did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, tell me what you want me to upload next. Peace.